Join us in exploring the profound warnings delivered by Pope Francis for the year 2024, stirring both Christians and the global community. His messages have sparked both concern and curiosity, highlighting ominous signs of destruction and urging vigilance against forces that may challenge faith. Delve into the details of the Pope's alarming cautionary tale with us as we decipher its implications for Christians worldwide. Hell does not exist. In our journey through the mysteries of faith, Few concepts evoke as much contemplation and concern as the idea of hell. It's a subject that sparked debates, stirred hearts, and captured imaginations for centuries. Today, I want to delve into this profound topic, inspired by recent remarks made by Pope Francis that have stirred quite a stir. Now, before we dive in, let's establish a common understanding of what we're discussing. Hell, in theological terms, is often described as the state of definitive self-exclusion from communion with God and the blessed. It's the destination, as some believe, for those who refuse to reconcile with God. And here's where things get interesting, the timing. Some posit that hell manifests immediately after death, while others argue that it's a post-final judgment affair. But where does the truth lie? The catalyst for this discussion came when Pope Francis, in a moment that shook the world, reportedly suggested that lost souls don't go to hell. Now, this assertion directly challenges traditional Catholic beliefs, prompting many to question, what's the truth here? It all began with an Italian journalist named Eugenio Scalfari, who claimed that Pope Francis denied the existence of hell during a conversation. Scalfari, known for his memoirist approach to reporting, stated that the pontiff asserted, hell does not exist. The disappearance of sinful souls exists almost immediately. However, the Vatican swiftly rejected this characterization, emphasizing that the conversation wasn't an official interview. They pointed out Scalfari's reliance on memory rather than documentation, raising doubts about the accuracy of his account. So what does the Catholic Church teach about hell? According to its doctrine, immediately after death, the souls of those who die in a state of mortal sin descend into hell, where they endure eternal separation from God. This separation is deemed the chief punishment of hell, where the soul is deprived of the life and happiness it was created for, solely found in communion with the divine. Despite the controversy, Pope Francis's alleged remarks stand in stark contrast to his public affirmations of hell's existence. In various instances, he's elucidated hell as the choice to distance oneself from God, a consequence of refusing divine forgiveness and persisting in sin. His words echo during encounters with children, in homilies, and even on television appearances where he implores individuals to turn away from evil and embrace conversion to avoid the fate of hell. In a particularly poignant moment, Pope Francis shared his personal view on hell during a talk show appearance. He expressed a hope for its emptiness, acknowledging that while it's not a dogma of faith, it's a reflection of his desire for universal redemption. His words invite reflection on the fundamental choice we face, to accept or reject the sacrifice of Christ before our earthly journey ends. In the end, the concept of hell beckons us to confront the reality of our choices and their eternal consequences. It's a reminder that our actions in this life shape our destiny in the next. As we navigate this spiritual terrain, let us heed the wisdom of Pope Francis and strive to choose the path that leads us closer to God. For in the end, it is before his throne that we shall all stand, our souls laid bare before him, receiving according to what we have done. Challenges for the world. In a recent interview on C.H. Tempo Cha, Pope Francis spoke candidly about his deepest concerns, shedding light on the troubling escalation of global conflict, particularly the ominous specter of war. 
His words carried a weighty significance, resonating with a sense of urgency and a profound yearning for peace, especially in regions ravaged by long-standing strife such as the Holy Land. Reflecting on the precarious state of our world, Pope Francis painted a sobering picture of the future during a mass at the Vatican, where he warned of greater omens of destruction and desolation looming on the horizon. Drawing parallels to historical struggles, he likened the challenges faced today to the bitter trials endured by humanity during pivotal moments in history, such as the time of the Virgin Mary's appearance in 1531 in Mexico City. Despite the daunting nature of these trials, Pope Francis emphasized the importance of finding hope amidst adversity, suggesting that even in the darkest of times, divine love offers a beacon of salvation. However, amidst his message of hope, Pope Francis didn't shy away from confronting the harsh realities of our world. He expressed profound concern over the escalating prevalence of war, lamenting its devastating impact on communities and nations across the globe. The pontiff's words underscored the urgent need for collective action to address the root causes of conflict and to foster a culture of peace and reconciliation. Beyond the realm of armed conflict, Pope Francis also sounded the alarm on the existential threat posed by climate change. He issued a stark warning about the fragile state of our planet, cautioning that humanity may be on the brink of ecological collapse. Citing the alarming rise in extreme weather events and other environmental crises, the Pope highlighted the urgent need for decisive action to mitigate the impacts of climate change and safeguard the future of our planet for generations to come. In the face of these daunting challenges, Pope Francis called for unity and solidarity, urging individuals of all faiths and backgrounds to come together in prayer and compassion. He invoked the example of the Virgin Mary as a source of comfort and inspiration, encouraging people to embrace faith and trust in divine providence amidst their fears and uncertainties. As the world grapples with the complexities of our times, Pope Francis's message serves as a poignant reminder of the power of faith, love, and collective action to overcome adversity and build a brighter future for all. Pope Francis's call to action extends beyond mere acknowledgement of the problems plaguing humanity. It's a rallying cry for concerted efforts to address these pressing issues head on. With war and conflict tearing apart communities and nations, the pontiff's plea for peace echoes with a sense of urgency, imploring world leaders and citizens alike to prioritize diplomacy, dialogue, and reconciliation over violence and aggression. Moreover, Pope Francis's concern about climate change transcends mere environmental advocacy. It's a moral imperative rooted in his deep-seated belief in stewardship of the earth. His message resonates with a sense of responsibility towards future generations, urging us to adopt sustainable practices and policies that safeguard the planet for our children and grandchildren. In his letter titled, La Dame, or Praise God, Pope Francis underscores the urgency of addressing climate change, emphasizing the tangible impacts it has on human lives. From forced migrations and food insecurity to access to clean water and health care, the effects of environmental degradation are felt acutely by the most vulnerable members of society. Pope Francis's words serve as a wake-up call, urging us to confront the realities of climate change with courage and resolve. As the pontiff acknowledges the gravity of our current predicament, he also offers a message of hope and redemption. Despite the seemingly insurmountable challenges we face, Pope Francis reminds us that divine love transcends even the darkest of times. In the face of war, conflict, and environmental devastation, his message of faith, compassion, 
and solidarity serves as a guiding light, illuminating a path towards a more just, peaceful, and sustainable world. Ultimately, Pope Francis's words carry a profound resonance in today's tumultuous times. They challenge us to confront the injustices and inequities that plague our world and to work towards a future where peace, justice, and environmental sustainability are not just ideals, but lived realities. As we heed his call to action, may we draw inspiration from the Pope's unwavering commitment to building a better world for all, guided by the principles of faith, love, and solidarity. The Antichrist is revealed. Certainly, let's delve into Pope Francis' insights on the Antichrist in the end times, drawing from his reflections on biblical teachings and contemporary events. Pope Francis has issued warnings about the appearance of the Antichrist, emphasizing the grave implications of his arrival. According to biblical prophecy, the Antichrist represents a false messiah who deceives many with promises of peace and prosperity masking a time of wickedness and sorrow. While Jesus is depicted wearing many crowns, symbolizing his royalty, the Antichrist is described as wearing a single crown of victory, signifying his conquest and deception. One of the most alarming aspects of the Antichrist's influence is his ability to masquerade as a wise and benevolent figure, offering alternative paths to salvation. Pope Francis identifies a clear sign of the Antichrist influence in the rise of secularism and the rejection of God's moral values. As society becomes increasingly self-centered, prioritizing individual desires over communal well-being, it deviates from the teachings of Jesus, which emphasize love and selflessness. The Antichrist's rise to power coincides with times of economic hardship and global conflict. Through astute political maneuvers and charismatic leadership, he promises to bring economic stability and world peace, deceiving many into believing he is the Messiah. He may even broker peace treaties between nations, including historically contentious regions like the Middle East, paving the way for significant geopolitical shifts. Even figures like the Pope himself have faced accusations of being the Antichrist, reflecting the heightened speculation surrounding his identity. One factor contributing to these speculations is Pope Francis's efforts to foster dialogue and cooperation with other faiths, particularly Islam. His historic gestures, such as inviting Muslim prayers and Quran readings at the Vatican, have sparked controversy and fueled conspiracy theories linking him to the Antichrist. However, Pope Francis maintains that anyone can be considered the Antichrist until definitive evidence emerges. He emphasizes the importance of discernment and critical thinking, cautioning against hasty judgments based on speculation or conjecture. The true identity of the Antichrist remains a mystery, but the signs of his arrival are unmistakable, as evidenced by the convergence of global crises and the erosion of moral values. According to biblical prophecy, the Antichrist will establish a new religious system that accommodates all faiths, luring people away from traditional teachings and doctrines. He will openly defy divine commandments and promote a doctrine of self-indulgence, encouraging people to prioritize their own desires over moral responsibility. As the Antichrist's power grows, he will reveal his true nature, committing acts of blasphemy and desecration, including the rebuilding of the temple and the abomination of desolation. He will proclaim himself as divine, demanding worship and allegiance from his followers. However, his reign of terror will be short-lived as he will ultimately be defeated by the power of God's word and the righteousness of the faithful. Pope Francis urges vigilance and spiritual discernment in the face of these ominous signs, reminding believers to remain steadfast in their faith and resist the temptations of the Antichrist. 
He emphasizes the importance of repentance and redemption, urging people to turn away from sin and embrace the teachings of Jesus. Ultimately, Pope Francis offers a message of hope and salvation, assuring believers that God's love and grace will prevail in the end. As we navigate through the complexities of the end times and the looming presence of the Antichrist, it's essential to draw wisdom from biblical teachings and discern the signs of the times. Pope Francis calls upon believers to remain vigilant and steadfast in their faith, resisting the allure of false prophets and deceptive ideologies. The biblical prophecies regarding the Antichrist serve as a sobering reminder of the spiritual warfare that confronts humanity. The Antichrist's rise to power represents a pivotal moment in human history, marked by the culmination of evil forces seeking to undermine God's sovereignty and deceive his people. Pope Francis underscores the importance of spiritual discernment in recognizing the Antichrist's influence and resisting his deceptive schemes. He encourages believers to anchor themselves in the truth of God's Word and to cultivate a deep and abiding relationship with Jesus Christ, who is the ultimate source of hope and salvation. In the face of mounting global crises and moral decay, Pope Francis calls upon believers to stand firm in their faith and to bear witness to the transformative power of God's love. He reminds us that even amidst the darkest of times, God's light shines brightest, offering hope and redemption to all who turn to Him in faith. As we confront the challenges of the end times, Pope Francis urges believers to remain steadfast in prayer and to seek guidance from the Holy Spirit. He emphasizes the importance of community and fellowship in strengthening our faith and standing firm against the schemes of the enemy. Ultimately, Pope Francis's reflections on the Antichrist and the end times serve as a clarion call to action for believers around the world. He calls upon us to be vigilant, discerning, and unwavering in our commitment to God's truth, even as we navigate the complexities of an increasingly tumultuous world. In closing, let us heed the words of Pope Francis and draw strength from the hope and assurance found in our faith. May we remain steadfast in our trust in God's providence and take comfort in the promise of His ultimate victory over the forces of darkness. Amen. Be prepared for the coming of the Lord. Pope Francis draws upon various parables and teachings of Jesus to illuminate the significance of vigilance, charity, and faithfulness in the context of our daily lives and our anticipation of the end times. One such parable he references is that of the ten virgins, in which the groom represents the Lord and the waiting period symbolizes the time of mercy and patience before his final coming. During this waiting period, we are called to remain vigilant, keeping the lamps of faith, hope, and charity burning brightly. Pope Francis underscores the importance of prayer and sacraments in nurturing our faith and remaining awake to God's presence in our lives. Furthermore, Pope Francis reflects on the parable of the talents, urging believers to reflect on how they use the gifts bestowed upon them by God. He emphasizes that a Christian who hoards their talents and fails to utilize them for the benefit of others fails to live up to the Christian calling. Instead, we are called to actively engage in acts of charity and service, especially amid times of crisis and uncertainty. By using our talents for the greater good, we contribute to the building of God's kingdom on earth. Pope Francis also delves into the parable of the Last Judgment, commonly known as the separation of the sheep and the goats. In this parable, Jesus emphasizes the importance of love and compassion towards our neighbors, particularly the most vulnerable and marginalized. Pope Francis challenges believers to reflect on how their actions align with the principles of charity and justice, as our ultimate judgment will be based on our response to the needs of others. 
While salvation is ultimately a gift of God's grace, Pope Francis reminds us of our responsibility to live out our faith through acts of love and mercy. In addition to these parables, Pope Francis draws attention to Jesus' cleansing of the temple, where he speaks of rebuilding the temple in three days. Pope Francis interprets this as a metaphor for the renewal and restoration of our hearts and souls through Christ's resurrection. He encourages believers to recognize the presence of Christ in their lives, even amid struggles and setbacks. By turning to Jesus in faith and trust, we allow him to work within us, transforming our lives and renewing our commitment to him. Throughout his teachings, Pope Francis emphasizes the importance of remaining vigilant, charitable, and faithful in anticipation of Christ's return. He calls upon believers to actively engage in acts of love and service, recognizing that our actions have eternal significance. Ultimately, Pope Francis offers a message of hope and encouragement, reminding us that Christ is with us always, guiding us on our journey, and leading us towards the fulfillment of God's kingdom. Pope Francis draws upon various parables and teachings of Jesus to illuminate the significance of vigilance, charity, and faithfulness in the context of our daily lives and our anticipation of the end times. One such parable he references is that of the 10 virgins in which the groom represents the Lord and the waiting period symbolizes the time of mercy and patience before his final coming. During this waiting period, we are called to remain vigilant, keeping the lamps of faith, hope, and charity burning brightly. Pope Francis underscores the importance of prayer and sacraments in nurturing our faith and remaining awake to God's presence in our lives. Furthermore, Pope Francis reflects on the parable of the talents urging believers to reflect on how they use the gifts bestowed upon them by God. He emphasizes that a Christian who hoards their talents and fails to utilize them for the benefit of others fails to live up to the Christian calling. Instead, we are called to actively engage in acts of charity and service, especially amid times of crisis and uncertainty. By using our talents for the greater good, we contribute to the building of God's kingdom on earth. Pope Francis also delves into the parable of the last judgment, commonly known as the separation of the sheep and the goats. In this parable, Jesus emphasizes the importance of love and compassion towards our neighbors, particularly the most vulnerable and marginalized. Pope Francis challenges believers to reflect on how their actions align with the principles of charity and justice, as our ultimate judgment will be based on our response to the needs of others. While salvation is ultimately a gift of God's grace, Pope Francis reminds us of our responsibility to live out our faith through acts of love and mercy. In addition to these parables, Pope Francis draws attention to Jesus' cleansing of the temple, where he speaks of rebuilding the temple in three days. Pope Francis interprets this as a metaphor for the renewal and restoration of our hearts and souls through Christ's resurrection. He encourages believers to recognize the presence of Christ in their lives, even amid struggles and setbacks. By turning to Jesus in faith and trust, we allow Him to work within us, transforming our lives and renewing our commitment to Him. Throughout his teachings, Pope Francis emphasizes the importance of remaining vigilant, charitable, and faithful in anticipation of Christ's return. He calls upon believers to actively engage in acts of love and service, recognizing that our actions have eternal significance. Ultimately, Pope Francis offers a message of hope and encouragement, reminding us that Christ is with us always, guiding us on our journey and leading us towards the fulfillment of God's kingdom. As we conclude our exploration of Pope Francis's teachings on vigilance, faithfulness, and the anticipation of Christ's return, let us reflect on the profound wisdom and guidance he offers us.
In a world marked by uncertainty and upheaval, Pope Francis reminds us of the enduring presence of Christ in our lives and the transformative power of His love. May we heed Pope Francis' call to remain vigilant in our faith, keeping the lamps of faith, hope, and charity burning brightly in our hearts. Let us embrace a life of active discipleship, using our talents and gifts to build God's kingdom on earth and to serve our neighbors with compassion and love. As we journey through life, may we entrust ourselves to the Lord's care, seeking His guidance and grace in all circumstances. Let us cultivate a deep and abiding relationship with Jesus Christ, recognizing Him as the source of our strength, our hope, and our salvation. And as we await the final judgment, may we do so with confidence and trust, knowing that God's mercy and love abound and that He calls us to live lives of goodness and fidelity to His Word. Let us prepare ourselves to be recognized as faithful servants when we stand before the Lord, ready to receive the eternal reward of His kingdom. In closing, let us take to heart Pope Francis's message of hope and encouragement, and let us strive to live each day with faithfulness, courage, and love. May God bless us abundantly as we seek to follow in the footsteps of Christ and to bear witness to His truth in the world. Amen.